Hi guys. Well, I think I got here just a few minutes too late for the sunset over at the over paradise here in the end times. Here on this Saturday, this lovely Saturday. Aaron, it is Saturday. It is not Friday, brother. It is Saturday, December 2nd, 2023 here in Denellum, Florida for Last time I looked at my thermometer on my truck, it was 86 degrees. 86 on the thermometer, but it's a, uh, I think it's cooled off to a brisk 78 here at sunset, heading to 68 degrees tonight, but uh, not here what I'm to tell you about. I'm to talk about, so I'm actually making this video for a just a couple of people but if anybody out there any non-doomers <clears throat> thinking about real estate investing be it in Florida or anywhere else uh, <laughs> you, you know sometimes you, you just have to see things with a new pair of eyes so I have been investing in real estate since 1986 uh, I have bought good lord what am I up to 22 properties I have helped other people I've probably sold 500 uh, pieces of real estate probably most of those investments and I was a real estate investor working with real estate investors for years, but I very rarely dealt with vacant land. Very rarely. There's only a, twice in my life that I invested in vacant land in my entire life, and I, and I made good money off both of those investments. I, I doubled my money in a few weeks uh, in, in Texas on a little piece of swamp land out in East Texas, but that was because of a title issue that I was willing to take on. Uh, and it worked out to my advantage, so it, it doesn't count. And this piece of property, you know, that I owned down here in Inverness with that lovely woman uh, next door, which I, you know, I, I almost tripled my money in less than two years on that. Again, that required somebody committing suicide. If that nasty bitch had not put a bullet through her head, I, I might still own that piece of property. So I've really only been invested twice in my life. I did very well on both of them. I mean, in, in, in raw land, did very well on both of them. But both of the flips there were these weird extenuating circumstances to when I sold and made my money. So when I, I bought this property uh, a couple of years ago in Inglis, and a friend of mine and I went in together, so we paid $16,000 for this place less than two years ago for this beautiful acre of land in uh, Inglis, Florida, which is now for sale for $32,000, which is twice what we paid for it. I remember the day we bought it, my friend. Well, now what? What do we do with this thing now? We're not planning to develop it and live on it. And I said, well, it, it, as soon as it hits $32,000, we sell it, we double our money, and we buy another piece of property. And she is also a savvy real estate investor. So this was two savvy, knowledgeable real estate investors. This was our plan. Buy in at 16, 
flip it in two years for twice what we paid for it, take the $32,000 and buy another piece of land for uh, assumedly $32,000 and I guess wait two years and flip it for $64,000. I, I guess that was never really th thought through the plan. So I get down here, bust my ass putting up this piece of land on the market for $32,000. And there it sits uh, for sale by owner. We, we don't have real estate agents involved. So it's sitting up there for $32,000 and probably will sell for $32,000. We probably will double our money in two years from $16,000 to $32,000. So with that expectation, I have been down here for the past month busting my ass trying to find the piece of property that we're going to buy when we sell our vacant piece of land. And by vacant piece of land, I mean it has no improvements. It, it, it has no water, you know, no well or water hookup. It has no septic system or sewer hookup, as the case may be. No power, no driveway. Uh, you know, it's just a raw, vacant piece of land. <clears throat> so I have been out here busting my ass, having a lot of fun, looking at what we're going to buy with our $32,000 when we sell our raw vacant piece of land for $32,000. So what I've been doing is shopping for all of these other raw vacant $32,000 pieces of land. And th th there's been a couple of times in the past month where I, I just had this little twinge, what, what are you doing shopping for another $32,000 piece of land? So anyway, I'm, I'm one of the pieces of land that I'm looking at is just two blocks from here, this beautiful lot down here on Cypress Drive in Denellen. It's not waterfront, it's the other, other side of the road. So I have this beautiful acre, this acre of land for $32,000. This woman has less than one half of an acre for sale for the same price. So it's in a better, more desirable neighborhood. You know, it's two blocks from this boat dock, but it's essentially the same price. She bought hers two years ago. She thinks she paid she goes, I think I paid around 17000 for that thing two or three years ago. She has a lot of vacant land listings. She's a, uh, a real estate agent. She's a Century 21 real estate agent who, uh, you know, and, and house flipper. So I'm talking to her, and obviously she's interested in selling me her piece of property and it comes up in conversation that I have a real estate agent that actually works in her office and as soon as I said that not surprisingly her entire attitude changed uh, because you know real estate agents can't be walking on each other's property so the entire tenor of the conversation changed, and she goes, well, you need to work with your agent, obviously, from this point forward. I didn't realize, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so she tells me that. She goes, but I, she goes, but she, she goes, but I am curious about something. And I said, what are you curious about? And she goes, why or are you selling your property in Inglis. If you have this beautiful piece of property that is doubled in value in two years in an up-and-coming neighborhood, 
why are you selling that property? And, and I said, so I can buy another piece of property. She goes, so what? So let me get this straight. So she goes, you're selling a $32,000 piece of vacant land in this general area for $32,000 and you're taking your $32,000 and you're buying another piece of $32,000 vacant property in the area. And I said, yeah, that's my plan. And, and she goes, she goes, well, I, I just can't help asking one question. And I said, what's that? She goes, why? And I said, why what? She goes, why are you selling a nice acre of land for $32,000 and getting rid of it and picking up another piece of vacant $32,000 land in the same area? She goes, what are you gaining? And I said, well, I'm gaining another piece of property. And she goes, no, you're not gaining another piece of property. She says, you're trading one comparable piece of property for another comparable piece of property and, and probably buying yourself a whole lot of work in the meantime, paying a uh, you know, you're, you're going to be paying closing fees and title fees and real estate agent commissions. And, and, and when the day is done, what you're going to have is what you already have. She goes, I, she goes, I, am, am I missing something with your investment strategy? And I started feeling uh, in, in, in increasingly stupid. This woman sounded like she was about half of my age, and uh, I said, "You know, darling, I, you know, I, I said I've had this this weird little twinge of doubt about what it is that I'm doing." And she says, "Well, she, she goes, I, she goes, I bet you have," and I said, "Okay." Uh, I said, I am a 64-year-old real estate investor who has a track record of, uh, of 19 wins, one tie, and one loss. I said, I need some real estate uh, investment advice uh, from you. I, 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 I said, what would you be doing in my situation? And she goes... Well, I know what I would not be doing is what you're doing. She goes, you, you, you basically, you know, as I've been talking about with my buddy, she goes, you either need to up your game. You need to up your game and buy a more developed piece of property. You know, if not with a house on it, it you know, at least with well and septic and driveway, up your game and, 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 and change the focus of what you're doing or what you do is you buy two $16,000 pieces of property. It's better to have two $16,000 pieces of property in Florida with the wheel turning then one thirty-two thousand. She goes, "You told me you paid sixteen thousand for it, right?" And I said, "Yeah." And she goes, "And so let's just assume that you're going to get thirty-two. And she checked, and she says, "I have it priced right." So you can either take your original investment back and go to Vegas for the week, and just get you a free piece of sixteen thousand dollar land, or you can take your $32,000, clip it in half, and have two, it makes a lot more sense with vacant land to have 
two $16,000 pieces of land with the wheels turning. That, that you're, you're, you're going to have an easier time turning two $16,000 pieces of vacant land into two $32,000 pieces of vacant land than you're going to have turning one $32,000 piece of vacant land into one $64,000 piece of vacant land. She goes, because you know you're, you're starting to hit a ceiling at 32. At, at least at, in this day and age, even, you know, unless you're buying, you know, some goddamn riverfront, whatever, which then, of course, uh, puts you in a floodplain. And uh, so anyway, I went to bed last night feeling a little bit stupid, but wiser. So anyway... What do you guys think? Should I be putting, buying two $16,000 pieces of land or upping my game, which I can't afford to do? So that is the question of the day as the sun sets and the fishermen come in for the day. A fellow gave me a cat Fish last night here he came in with his beautiful catfish which he did not feel like cleaning and uh, that was my dinner yesterday but I'm gonna sit here and get back to my margarita and watch this gorgeous sunset think about real estate investing another day So does that long pole keep you out of the weeds? Is that what that is for? It's almost like four-wheel drive on a boat. Four-wheel drive on a boat. Yeah, I can run through all of it. Oh, uh, really? Because so you're barely under the water with that prop. Yeah. Huh. And it pushes the boat forward as well as... Yeah, pretty much. Huh. If you look up, like, probably long tails, that's pretty much all they run over there. Because they, their canals and rivers are all uh, weeds and hydrilla. You mean in, you're talking in Thailand? Yeah. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Huh. And it's a lot cheaper than a regular boat motor. It's called a Thai long tail. Yep. Yeah. It almost looks like a lawnmower engine, like a big ass lawnmower engine on top of there. Yeah. Huh. A tie long tail to get through the weeds. Now, of course, if we uh, do trade that piece in Inglis for the property here, we'll be owning a piece of property two blocks from this uh, two blocks from this boat dock with this sunset. Uh, I mean, we get a fine sunset in, uh, in English over the, the cow pasture, but I have to admit that, but of course, it would just be a vacant piece of land that I can't live on. It's not like I can bring my little camper down here and park it between two $600,000 houses on Cypress Drive in Denellen, Florida and uh, just set up shop. <sighs> Boy, decisions, decisions. Pretty gorgeous. We have been installing the sliding glass door from hell into this beat up old trailer. So Aaron absolutely does not want to sell. And I guess the owner of that trailer next door to Aaron is 
not ready to sell. I'm gonna keep holding on to the dream. I like to take these videos of these Florida sunsets when it's 82 degrees out here and yeah. send it to my friends in New York. <laughs> Rub it all in their face. Yeah. They, well, this is why I'm at, you're going down to Florida. Yeah. Yuck, Florida. People who, who've never been here, you know, they, they think, of, I don't know what they think, what do they think of Disneyland and downtown Tampa. I, I, was, I got in that damn, went to pick up someone at the airport on Wednesday. Their plane arrived at five o'clock in the afternoon in Tampa and we were heading to Sarasota. Let, let me let me tell you what that looked like. Oh, I can only imagine. <laughs> and I'm telling her, I'm saying this meaning that is not why I come to Florida in the winter. I said 99% of the people who have never been to Florida have no clue. <laughs> you know, even in the even in 2023, almost 2024, that you can still find places like this without any trouble. I was born and raised right here. Oh, really? 31 years now, and I've never went down south. No, nope. not for me. Oh, really? And I, and I am assuming you never went up north to New York. No, sir. Well, I I admit, brother, at age sixty, I I folded. <laughs> You're only half my age, so at, at age sixty, I folded. And I can't do the summers no more. I can't do them. So I split it up. I became a snowbird and moved up with all those. Yan They're actually Yankees are quite friendly. I'm surprised how friendly Yankees are. But uh, I, I'm out of here on May 1st, and then I'm out of there on November 1st. Huh. Uh, yeah, these summers, I mean, it was 86 degrees today on December 2nd. So I don't want to be here on July 2nd no more. Oh, yeah, it gets pretty <laughs> when you got to work outside. Mm-hmm. It was so humid today, and we were dying. Ugh. Have a good one. You too, brother. I love it. He's never been down south. Never been down south. He, he lives in Florida. So where we are in Florida, by the way, is uh, so State Highway 40, which is right there, uh, is the line between northern and central Florida. And then Interstate 4 is the line between central and southern Florida. So I live one mile south of the northern Florida, central Florida line. So this is technically central Florida, literally by one mile. And uh, if it's 85 degrees on a, it's 85 degrees on December 2nd, one mile south of northern Florida. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang right here. But that was a fine sunset.
another glorious sunset. Big Saturday night begins in Donnellan, Florida. Get out there and enjoy your sunsets while you still can. My gosh.